and bump maps using Adobe Photoshop if you want to pull them into Maya. As you can see here, I did a real quick UV map on a cylinder to make it look kind of like a barrel. I was able to use Maya's uh, options as far as creating the PSD networks. Now when I went over into Photoshop, however, I did add a little bit of extra controls here and you can actually see if I turn on, you can see the UV snapshot that I used as far as the design and layout here. I even did some effects as far as bevel and embossing to look like there's some bolts going on, but now it's time to actually go through and prepare this to be a new material. Now the first thing that I'm going to do though is I am going to go ahead, I'm going to hide as far as the overall layout here. And actually, too, another thing that you can do is under layer one, we can actually delete this. We don't need this anymore. So here you can see as far as the edges go. And again, if you notice, I'll turn that UV snapshot back on. Notice where my edges are. It's OK that I'm kind of spilling out over into the sides there. That's not going to be picked up on the actual object here. So I'm going to go ahead here and I am going to do a save. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to do a save as, and I'm going to change this from working uh, to maybe material demo barrel applied. And what I'm going to do now is hop back into Maya and I'm going to go ahead and recreate because I had set this to Lambert one. I'm going to go ahead and make a new Lambert material here. So, and then we'll go ahead and get rid of that. So I've got my new Lambert material here and I'll zoom in in a second here. Okay, so we've got a new Lambert material starting point. And what I wanna do is for the color, I wanna go ahead and choose a PSD file to connect. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do here is I'm gonna come back in and click on my little folder here for the image name. And here I can see now all of my names. So there's that applied option that I want to work with and I'm going to say open. Okay, good stuff. So now I've made the connections here and I can come back over now into my modeling view and I will go ahead and actually one more thing I'll do here is instead of Lambert 3, I'm going to call this barrel. Just to be a little more descriptive. So I'm going to go ahead and assign barrel and now you can see that my little rivets are popping up as far as the effects go. But one other thing that Photoshop offers us the capabilities of doing is we can make normal and bump maps. Now, one thing to point out, this is working in Photoshop 2022. And whenever you do go in and you prepare to work with this, one thing to point out is that Photoshop may give you a warning that they are stepping away from 3D inside of their programs here. If I had to hazard a guess, it's probably because they picked up software packages like Dimension. So those are probably going to be their primary focuses. But to prepare to work with a UV uh, as far as, or I'm sorry, either a normal or a bump map, a couple of things I'm going to do here to prepare. Since I still have this applied, I'm going to go ahead and do a save as, and I'm going to call this bump because what I'm gonna do here now is I'm actually gonna get rid of a lot of this extra stuff and also kind of condense as far as my overall project is concerned. So I'm gonna get rid of the UV snapshot because I don't need that anymore. And then I'm going to do a shift click to select all of my assets that are currently layers. And I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna merge my layers down. So now I have one unit. Now. As a reminder here, whenever you do this, you've lost the ability to go in and edit and make changes. This is why that I make a backup. So now I'll call this barrel map. So now that I've actually gone through and done this, I can actually go under filter and go to 3D. And here you can see that I can actually generate both a normal and a bump map. So if I go ahead and choose bump here, this is the part that, depending on your computer, Photoshop may really think for a minute here. So there you can see that it did come through and made the bump map for me. You can play as far as the different layouts are concerned, as far as the detail and contrast. So maybe I want the lows to be a little bit higher. And also, too, I may want to actually change the detail scale. 
Also too, just as a side note, if you can, you can come down under objects. They do have multiple objects that you can choose from. But for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and just say okay. You can actually see that Photoshop is starting to kind of throw a tantrum at me here that it's not entirely sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick file, save as, and we're gonna save this as a bump. But now what I can actually do is I can come back under barrel here and in Maya, under the Lambert, there is a bump normal map option that I can actually come under here and choose, once again using that checker box, I can use the PSD file. Now, notice right here there's a PSD file and it's blank right now. That's because I haven't assigned an image to it. So now if I go ahead and come in and I find that bump file that I made and say OK, Notice now that the bump was applied and it was able to add in a little bit more as far as the details go and kind of giving it a little bit more as far as the shadows are concerned. So this is the way that Maya offers you as far as being able to come in and actually change and alter overall here. And you can see actually what it's doing as far as the overall camera. So if I were to come in now and let me go ahead and get kind of an angle here on this. I want to get the top in. There you can see it's actually picking up the sheen a little bit. I'm also getting some of those shadows here as far as the edges are concerned. These are some of the options that you have as far as being able to set up and kind of pre-create those elements that would go in and work with this. I could even go in, I could change out maybe my ambient lighting. Maybe I want an angle here as far as the overall Honestly, that kind of gives a little bit of a better effect as far as what we're seeing there or what we would like to see as far as the shading is concerned. So there you can kind of see it's catching as far as the edges are concerned, as far as that bump map, making it look a little bit more 3D there.